end is the Dick Satan Trio. Give them a warm welcome. and Sam Starrville over there. And of course, Sid. Who doesn't love Sid, right? Uh, we're gonna play another song. Now, you may recognize this one from our world famous Rockabilly Chili Cook-Off spot. I don't know who even found it. <laughs> it's called Key Party.
They're just, they're just being loud because Sid told them to. It's WMSC's local live. Uh, we are live at Club Garibaldi, as you can hear. My name is Cal, and I'm here with my special guest co-host tonight, Matt Wild from Milwaukee Record. Welcome, Matt. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Cal. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Um, I'm wondering if you could uh, introduce the band for us quickly before we get down to some serious interviewing here. Well, yes. I'm Ted. Over here's uh, Dick <laughs> and Rick. And there's Tommy, he's the bad boy. And, uh, and Keith over there on drums. There you have it. So we, we, we have a lot of questions to get down to here. The audience questions have been pouring in. Much appreciated. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Did, and you, did you look at all of them, or are you just picking them off the Well, top? some are not appropriate for, uh, <laughs> to be read on air, but uh, we'll get to those after the show. Yeah, because here's the thing. This, this, uh, this audience does not look nearly as vetted as I was led to believe. <laughs> So, spoiler alert, the first 19 questions are about your name. Uh, so, I have multiple audience questions here asking basically this, uh, this same question. Uh, you are the Dick Satan Trio. That's correct. And yet, there are five of you. Please explain. All right, well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for whoever asked that. <laughs> Everybody who asked that question, please uh, raise the your audience hand. raises. Actually, their applaud. You're on the See, radio. Look at that. I'm like That's twelve people. Kind of what I was thinking. Well, first of all, first of all, it's 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 presumptuous of you to assume that 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 the people you want, see up on stage right now are the only operatives in the Dick Satan organization. It's a much bigger thing than that, but that's. That's some Illuminati stuff that we just... It goes deeper than any of us It goes deeper than that. Okay. The, but barring that, are you, guys, are you familiar with the, with the Dave Clark Five? Yeah. Mm. How many people were in that band? Wow. Well, five, but, but they were not all named Dave Clark, were they? Okay. Therefore, therefore you can name uh, your band anything you want. However, that said, that said, with respect to the number of drink tickets that a venue gives your band, the Dick Satan Five would be a way better name. Well, we do have a, another audience. Uh, not so much a question, but uh, a suggestion. Isn't the Dick Satan Pentagram a more appropriate name? For us, yes, but not for all of those church festivals we play. <laughs> so well, let's, talk, let's talk about the first part of your name. We've, we've covered the trio. Let's talk about Dick Satan. Dick Satan. Please explain. <laughs> I know, really, <laughs> really. It's it's mellifluous. That was uh, that was on on his word of the day calendar, and he said I should use it. But I <laughs> that's all we have for that. Uh. Now, I don't know, you know. You're going to have to write marketing. your questions down, sir. In the, in the, in the age of, of, of Googleable band names, it works pretty well. There you go. How many members can you add before it is no longer a trio? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Well, okay, so back... <laughs> yeah, well, there used to be six of us. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even finishing that one. <laughs> that next question. Uh, I guess how many people are in your trio? That's, that's what I want to know. And, and you've silenced the audience. Well done. <laughs> um, so what was childhood like uh, for you guys growing up in the Satan household? <laughs> <laughs> We, well, we, we took a lot of heat. <laughs> Good one, Russ. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, why is it that the devil is so much more beloved in, like, rockabilly circles than, uh, you know, other fun. genres? <laughs> He's way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's satan. It's like the, it's like the vegetable paste. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, to move on from okay. the uh, from yes, the name. Yes, like, please. Like I said, we could spend a, another hour talking about it. Let's let's talk about your music. How about that? Um, oh yes. If we must. Uh, you know, generally, I suppose you could say surf rock, or uh, as you call it, and I want to get this right, so I'm going to read it. Soul grooved instrumental playboy rock. Yes, correct. Instrumental very playboy nice. rock. Um, very nice. And uh, you guys certainly are dressed the part. There's a there's a Hefner esque smoking jacket here on stage. <laughs> it's very nice, very comfortable. Um, it, it's a, it's a genre that you know has always been around. It just never it, seems to leave, and it's always just bubbling there. Um, what is the state? of uh, surf rock in Milwaukee in 2019. I, I don't know. We play instrumental playboy rock. I'm, All right, well, let's, uh, sure. let's change it up to that. I'm not sure what the... What is the state of soul-grooved instrumental playboy <laughs> rock in 2019 in the city of Milwaukee? Well, legendary. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get better than this. That's all I have to say about that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying you are the scene, basically. Yeah, well, you know, we welcome all, all comers to... Except a challenge. If you would like to, like to try to wrest the instrumental Playboy Rock crown from us, I'd love to hear it. That that does sound like a challenge. There, out there are a lot of pretenders out there. <laughs> it's true. Any the pretenders bands? do not play instrumental Playboy Rock. That that means no singing. Any any pretenders to the throne out there? No singing. <laughs> So, uh, of course, our listeners at home, they can't see the uh, nice shiny guitars up there. I was wondering if you guys might want to tell people uh, if you can uh, maybe make your way over to the mic what, uh, what kind of guitar you're playing there and uh, your acts of choice. I'm playing a 1995 American Standard Stratocaster. Ooh. In, in surf green. <laughs> Would have to be. And uh, I'm playing a Gretsch 6120 in orange. Right. And uh, before you offend Tommy over here, that's an organ, not a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's a transistor, transistor organ. organ. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got that straight. All right. I think uh, maybe it's time for a few more tunes. Right, what do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Let's have it. Dick Satan I'm Trio, on. ladies and gentlemen. I think, sure, um, egg sandwich. <laughs>
Enrico.
I don't th <laughs> we'll leave the name of that one off. Play another one? What are you talking? What, what happens? Uh, I, uh, I, I have a quick question because this, oh, this is uh, on my mind and on the audience's mind as well. Like I yes. said, the questions have been flooding in. <laughs> Uh, More questions than Now, answers. you could not see this, of course, on the, on the radio, but uh, <laughs> at least for the first song, Tommy, uh, you were playing, and the second song, or the third song, rather, uh, you were playing, uh, playing keyboards with one hand, and uh, you had a drink in the other hand the entire time. The, uh, the audience from the question is this, or the question from the audience is this, can Tommy only play with a drink in his hand? What will happen if you take it away? He's, he's happier if he does. Will it be the end of the world, the end of the band? <laughs> <laughs> and now maybe you could explain that because for the middle song you were you were you were fooling around with something else with your other hand. It says murder <laughs> on it. It's the it's the, <laughs> it's the murder box. It's very yeah. It's an organ extension. Ah. Uh, that I think we uh, I, 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 we you know we had long discussions about what we were able to say and not say. And, well, okay, here's the thing. As I expected something out, cleaner from the Dick Satan trio, really. Like, you, you did, but okay, but here's the thing. There's apparently no dollar amount that allows you to say whatever you want, so they were like, don't even bother bringing a swear jar. <laughs> mm. This is true. Yes, the, uh, the murder the, box. The murder box, Tommy, you want to... You wanna... I don't know how it works. He's a scientist. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Did you, did you catch that out on the radio? Sexy. Now? That was. There it is in action. That is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that, that thing uh, allows him to hold the drink in his other hand while he still makes noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a spectacle, I must say. Well, we should. We might as well get to a few more audience questions while we're at this here. Um, were the sequin bodysuits necessary for a radio show? I really like that question. Okay, that's a question you ask a bunch of guys in velvet jackets. <laughs> Sequins. I thought it was a good question. <laughs> like, well, I'm I'm regretting the sequins. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I have another, uh, this is a, a very personal question from the audience. It's, uh, it's addressed to uh, Russ. It's from Christian. Can I get a beer or shot on your tab? I think that's uh, doable. Just uh, Sid will get it for you. It's on her. You heard it, heard it here, folks. Should we talk about chili? Should we talk about some, uh, some, some chili? Yes. Talk about the rockabilly chili you guys are playing. We uh, will be there, yes. Very exciting. Uh, have, I assume you've been. I think most of us have been most of the times. Yes. Can you share Excellent. any, uh, you know, gastronomical, <laughs> gastro... <laughs> do, do you have any fun chili anecdotes you can was, share with us? I don't know. That made me think any of encounters a, with ghost peppers? Made me think of a funny story about Chris Lehman that I won't say. All right. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, any funny stories? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they sell milk. There was a thing. I don't, I don't have any, any exciting. Kip had, uh, Kip had some spicy chili a few years ago, and this picture comes up on my phone every now and again, and it's like he was slamming a big glass of milk, and it was pouring down his chin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he had milk in the was that was milk in his beard? Oh come on. I expected more of a Dick Satan trio audience. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. No, no, we've been, a, we've been a lot of times, even before it was in the Kern Center we went. It was so many years ago. What, what is the hottest thing you've ever eaten? The hottest thing you've ever eaten? The, the insanity peppers? <laughs> the, the insanity peppers? Mister, you're, e you're drinking a candle. <laughs> that was a Simpsons. Yeah, but okay. Very nice, Thank yes. <laughs> we approve of Simpsons references here. Um, should we, here I, I have a very serious question that uh, demands a serious answer. Uh, not really, but uh, speaking of, uh, you know, rockabilly chili and things like that, uh, you guys seem to pop up a lot on, you know, summer festivals and, Chill on the Hill, and I believe a couple of you actually uh, help organize uh, Chill on the Hill. Is that right? Oh, yeah. 
And there's some of the rest of them are here too. So my question is this: How important is it for? Uh, how important is the festival circuit? for working Milwaukee bands. It seems that so many bands stay busy throughout the summer. Is, is this like, you know, a bi big, big busy time for you guys, summer, doing uh, these big kind of festivals? We have, we have played a number of them, including Chill on the Hill, not recently. You know, conflicts of interest. Um, uh, Bayview Bash, we did, what, two years ago? We do a pumpkin pavilion every... Okay, so, so we're, like, I, don't, I don't think I saw a bill or damn, but Rushmore Records and Pumpkin Pavilion every year like, ask us to do this thing, and it's our favorite gig. Every year over at Humboldt Park, I don't know, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some equation in relation to Halloween as to when it happens, but we get to play out there, although we did not. We were scheduled to play this year. However, it turns out um, that Milwaukee enjoys the Milwaukee Brewers far more than the Dick Satan trio. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that was last year, yeah, so. <laughs> we dress up. <laughs> we dress up. <laughs> it's the Dick Satan trio presented by American Family Insurance. Yes, yes now we're looking change for... Change your name. We're looking for a corporate sponsor who doesn't regret things. <laughs> Are any of you known for your chili recipes, or is that uh, any, not, Probably not Russ your forte? Is a, uh... I do make chili from scratch. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't expand on that or anything. <laughs> Just step away. Being a gourmand. <laughs> You're not going to give away your secret recipe? So, uh, yeah, no, no, um, it's never the same. I only make it in a can. Do you have oh, anything? Like Hormel I chili, come on. <laughs> can you give us a, uh, are you planning anything special for the, uh, the Rockabilly Chili? I believe it, what is it, the, the 17th annual well, Rockabilly Chili? I think chili? those last couple of songs were, were sort of our, uh, our uh, they're south of the border set. Uh -huh. I think we got one more of those so for, for that. So I don't know, you know, those are songs we play, but we'll definitely be playing them on, on, at the Chili Cook-Off. We'll play lots of songs. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've, I do have another pertinent audience question in terms of food here. Um, have any of you ever bitten the head off of a bat or any other flying mammal? Oh, it's funny you mention that. Um. <laughs> Did anybody ever go schmelting? Yeah. Did you ever bite off the head? Yeah. I bit out the guts. Ooh. <laughs> I think uh, I knew most of the words in that, but I didn't understand what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, Ooh. perhaps we should have a few more songs. Oh, I think that's an excellent idea. This one is entire, entitled Sangria Diablos. <laughs>
song. Uh, this next song is called Ride the Pony Jerk. I know, I, I, if I were you guys, I would be embarrassed about dancing on the radio, too. <laughs> and it's too late now, I don't think we have any more like that.
There you go. Oh, go on. Go on. Yes. <laughs> Woo. The Dick uh -huh. Satan Trio on WMSC's Local Live. What and, more do you uh, want? Are you not entertained, Club Garibaldi? Uh, it's true. Yeah. Right? So we have quite a few uh, audience oh, questions. Good, good questions. Pouring in. And w you guys have really been doing a great job tonight with these questions. Give yourselves a hand for the... Uh... As far as I, I know, my mom is listening in Ohio. We could... We could... Oh, that was her favorite? Every, everybody say hi, Coco. Everybody say that. Hi, Coco! Hi, Coco! There she is. Yep. <laughs> there, Mom, I got out of Christmas. All right. So uh, one audience member asked, what was your group's favorite show and why? <laughs> we were just talking about this yesterday. <laughs> it happens to be the Beverly Hillbillies. And that's not unanimous, but that was, um, that was like, percentage-wise, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, funny. Because two out of six is what makes a trio whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my impression of the question was your favorite show that you've played. But oh. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Also, but actually, just it's case. the same answer, Green Acres. No, I'm sorry, Beverly Hillbillies. It's the same thing to me. I don't even care. The favorite show we played? Pumpkin Pavilion every year, probably. I think that's it. We could go uh, there okay. later. Hey, you guys want to go to Humboldt Park? Maybe we'll get Billy to come down. <laughs> yes, everybody go home and grab a suit. Because I know you guys have, uh, you have a show coming up at Circle A Cafe where you... you, you yes! You, just, you do frequent there occasionally. We play at Circle A a lot. That's a great gig. At, uh, the 23rd, February 23rd. Um, it's a, up in River West, the, the, the pride of River West. Yes, indeed. Circle A Cafe. Do you have any good uh, Circle A anecdotes you could share with us or no? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so, so there's no stage at Circle A, no. and and uh, and there's no room at Circle A, and the, there's like two two three tables right there in the middle of the floor there, and every time we play there, I move the closer one, and they always move it back. <laughs> like you can't move the tables; it's like they know where they go. And the last time we played there, there was this mountain of a man sitting right in front of me. The guy had to be like four feet wide, he was just, he was big, and I couldn't see, even see around him. And occasionally, I, I'm fairly animated, I move a lot, and I would bump into him occasionally, and he would turn around like I was in his way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the front table <laughs> sentinel. Yes, apparently. <laughs> uh, I have another uh, question here from the audience. All these songs are original. Tell us they about are. the songwriting process. Songwriting process. There, are, there is so much blood in arguing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. There were actually there were a couple of, of world premieres tonight. I don't even remember which one they were. Yeah, that was the first time we ever we ever drove those out. Um, yeah, we sometimes like that. Um, an idea floats around for six months and then we get a show and it has to become something. <laughs> Other times we play it for a while and we're like. Russ, Russ, go home. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. Um, it's 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 a hundred percent collaborative. Okay. And I know. I mean, you guys have a handful of songs up okay, on. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's not like oh. that. I mean, I'll tell you if you have a crappy idea. <laughs> You guys catch that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering because you you've been around for uh, you know close to a decade now, if not more, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, all I could find was like four songs on your Reverb Nation oh, page. Oh yes. Um, our our music is not available in the U.S. or <laughs> or anywhere else. <laughs> is there? Uh, do, you, do you have any plans to record any uh, an album well, eventually, or is that um, kind of? I don't off know. The, the tape? only thing holding us back from that is our debilitation. Perfectionism. That does tend to be a problem. <laughs> I have some uh, some questions, uh, some more questions. These are not from the audience, but uh, earlier today I was uh, on your Facebook page. You do have a Facebook page, so it's we, true. We, we should good. say that. That's a plus. And uh, <laughs> you were talking about tonight's show, and uh, you had some questions for yourself. <laughs> 
Uh, so I'd like to ask you those questions that you guys came up with yourselves. What, what were the, I, I think I did that. But How can five guys who are that handsome be in one trio together? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it, that's what everyone was thinking. And that's why we're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Follow-up question, are there any other instrumental playboy rock bands that even come close to the Dick Satan Trio's mastery of the genre? We, we did kind of talk We touched on that a little earlier, and the answer is absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, I, I think the, the proof is in the pudding tonight. Uh, here's a, your final self-question, do you need another drink? Yes, I was hoping you would get to that one. So that's a River West Stein. When I'm thirsty, I reach for a delicious lakefront River West Stein. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, can we allow that? I guess I guess we do. We we do have one more audience question I'd like to get to before you we did. you play a couple more tunes. But this kind of goes along with with your self asked questions. Um, how can we be as sexy as you? It ain't easy. I mean, Satan it ain't easy. That's. <laughs> 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 it's like I did. I did shave today. I mean, there's a certain amount of hygiene and and things. I mean, okay. I'm sure everybody everybody knows that. Um, but I think I think these velvet jackets are a terrible idea under these lights. <laughs> Although we did we did once we did we play, uh, where was it South Shore Frolics years ago when the, when that was a thing that happened we played in a 125 degree parking lot wearing um, velvet jackets and I think most of us almost died. Not only are you well wearing velvet jackets, the, the keyboard is draped in velvet. This is, this, I mean, it, you guys really go the extra miles. Yeah. It's true. Thank you for that. <laughs> draped in velvet. Oh, my God. Oh, Ladies and, look and at gentlemen, this. Patty Pritchard Thompson. Here are those drinks. The drinks have she arrived. saved my life again. I, I think that's your cue uh, for a couple more songs. We've got time for maybe two more. We Does got, that sound okay, good? we can do two more songs. Sounds great. Um, this one is entitled... The Gobbler. <laughs>
Elsewhere. <laughs>